Hello world, welcome back to CyberCrete and today in this video we are going to see how you can easily run your Flask app onto the Google Colab. So if you want to do this, please make sure to watch this video and if you love watching the video, please make sure to hit that like button and just subscribe to the channel. It means a lot for me. So yes, so I'm going to give you the solution. So first of all, we will be running on the our Flask app on Google Colab. So I'm just going to open this collab.research.google.com that allows us to run code on the collab basically and till it is loading uh, I am going to tell you how we are going to do the process so we are going to use something known as njrock that is going to help us provide it so I am just going to uh, create a new notebook just to show you how the things are going to work so with the help of njrock we will be doing some sort of port forwarding but you don't have to uh, do much it is basically going to be a few lines of code and just some basic linux command so first of all let us try to see what all things are required to be installed to run this so uh, let me just paste the sample code that is going to do this job uh, let me just pick it from my second screen and let me just paste it here so here you see if we were just doing a simple app, a simple flask app, this lines of codes uh, would have been enough. So what we do, we import flask from flask, we just create an app from the flask instance, we just define the route and in the route we just pass the function that is going to return something like this, like running flask on Google Colab and then we ask app.run. So this is how the normal flask apps behaves but here we are going to use a service known as njrock that's handle all the port forwarding things because you cannot run flask on google collab as the google collab is a server and when you are going to start the server there it is going to start on the google collab so you need to connect that thing the thing that is running on the google collab server with your computer such that you can basically see what your apps really look like and yes this is going to work exactly same if even if you are just returning a string you are returning a json file or even if you are returning html files which should be placed inside a templates folder when you are doing dealing with the flask so okay so let's just make the changes so here first of all we are going to use this run with ngrock that will allow us to run our python script with ngrock so uh, and then what we do instead of just letting the app to be the flask one we wrap it up with the run with ngrock this function will allow this app to be run with the help of ngrock so if i am going to run this uh, there will be error because we need to actually install run with ngrock uh, if we run this you can see run with ngrock does not come pre-installed with uh, google collab because it is not something everyone is going to use so till it's happened uh, let me just write pip so just remember whenever you are running any type of linux script or linux command onto the google collab you use this not sign before the command so pip install and then just no module found flask ngrock you can simply copy it paste it because from flask ngrock we use this function so i'm just going to run this script Now it's successfully installed Flask and Jerox. And now if I run this script, it is not over it. Just wait. So here, this is the local IP address which would, which you can see when you are doing it on locally. But this is not going to work because we are, we need to do it on server because uh, this code, this API is basically running on Google services. So here is the Angerock links that we are going to use. But if you click on this link, this link is going to show something like this hey welcome to ngrock before you can serve the html content you need to sign up with the ngrock and get your installation token so yes you need to do this process and let us see how you can do this process so either if you don't have any account with ngrock you can just click on the sign up and you can create the account but if you have the account on ngrock you can just simply go there and sign in so as i already have the account with the ngrock i am not going to uh sign up here so i just have the account here so the first thing you need to do is to first of all you need to stop this 
okay we have stopped this because we are going to install nj rock onto our google collab so how we are going to do that so as we know this google collab is nothing but a jupyter notebook that is running on the linux server the back end of this jupyter notebook is a linux server so we can simply run the linux command so we go to the nj rock and we ask it hey i want to download for linux uh let's go for arm64 i guess oh, oh no 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 not like this so okay uh, let me just search uh download ng rock using terminal oh sorry and open link in new tab and i guess this is going to be the link which we are going to use to download ng rock using the command line because here you see here we cannot just uh, download something and ask it to be done but what we can do we can just go to the list this linux section we can copy this and we can just paste it here of course i will be providing all the links that you are going to see like this link njrock.com slash download but i am also trying to show you how you can figure out when you are stuck in this type of problem so this can be helpful when you are dealing with something some problems other than this so what i can do i can just go up here i can just use this bang this sign because we are going to be running the linux command so i am i'm going to paste it and if you notice there are spaces between here and there so we need to remove this space and echo so yes we need to press the space there too and i will do something like this and now i think it is uh, it is just fine because you, here you can see and and there is, there is space so it is going to be working fine so of course this command also i will provide in the link uh, provide the link in the description and then we are going to run it so what this command is going to do it is first of all going to download the ng rock and then it is going to install it onto our linux machine or this uh, google collab machine which is running on the linux and then how then it have asked to authorize the token so we need to do this so make sure to use your own token so this is basically used to connect your account with the ng rock so i am simply going to copy this So this ngrock have finished installing uh, it have done its thing so i'm just going to click here and i'm going to add the code and again the bang and then we are going to paste it but this code if you are familiar with linux is asking us to run the ngrock if it is present inside the current uh, working directory so if i just do ls we are not going to see this ngrock here so it is just having sample data so if we are going to run this command this is not going to work because this is asking to open ngrock that because uh, this thing is not here ngrock no such file or directory installed because we have installed it we can simply ask the program to run by itself so we just need to remove this dot sign just not ngrock or token this and this and this so i am just simply going to run this so auth question is saved and now if we try to run this code hopefully this should work so let's just wait for this ng rock and if i click here here you can see running flask on the google collab and uh, let me just also tell you something sometime it is going to give you a red page warning uh, because it thinks that this website is not secure so here also you are seeing not secure so what you can do you can just proceed because this is the thing that you have created it is nothing malicious all the code that you have written is going to run so you can just proceed there and this is how you can simply run the flask app onto the google collab so thanks for watching and of course if this video helps please make sure to hit that subscribe button and just press the like button this means a lot for me so thanks for watching